These fine gentlemen enjoy long walks on the beach, spending time with their families and bathing in blood that doesn't belong to them. Am I a psycho? Am I a psycho? A psychopath is someone suffering from a chronic medical disorder. This causes them to have little to no empathy and violent social tendencies. In real life, these people are disgusting, awful, and they should be put away forever. But on screen, they're very, very entertaining to see. So without further ado, here are the top 10 psychopaths in cinematic history. Number 10, Mr. Blonde. By the way, Tarantino's on this list like three times, so get excited. Mr. Blonde is a character from Reservoir Dogs, played by Michael Madsen. Possibly his most recognizable and memorable film that he's ever been a part of. And I think it was just some little independent film back in 93. Mr. Blonde is the definition of crazy. To give you an example, let me show you a scene. Yeah, he's cutting a guy's ear off. He also tried to burn him alive, but we're not going to talk about that because that is gross. That's, I don't like that at all. Number 9, Alex from A Clockwork Orange. From the Stanley Kubrick masterpiece comes Alex. He's just a guy who likes hanging out with his friends, drinking milk, dressing kind of funky, and brutally raping and torturing and murdering people. Some people consider Alex to be the anti-hero of the movie because he's a rapist. He's a murderer. You know he's bad. But at the end of the movie, something happens that makes him a little bit more likable. Okay, not likable, but you empathize with him as a character. But if we're talking about the first part of the movie, he shows no empathy for anyone or anything that he does. But I want you all to watch this movie because he becomes much more than that over time. Very round, well-designed character altogether. Number eight, Hans Landa. Hans Landa is an incredibly designed character, very well acted as well played by the marvelous Christoph Waltz. It was Christoph Waltz's breakout role in American cinema, and it earned him an Oscar. Hans Landa is crazy, but not on the nose crazy. If you met him at like a bar or a restaurant, you'd think he's a nice guy, because he is a really nice guy, unless you're a Jew. Let me give you some bullet points for this movie. He compares Jewish people to rats. He compares German people to hawks hunting said rats. And he murders hundreds of Jews with a smile on his face. And that's why he's on the list. Number seven, Jigsaw. The Saw movies aren't anything great. I think there's seven Saw movies. That's ridiculous. But the first Saw movie isn't bad. The Jigsaw Killer is an amazing character. There's a bunch of murders going on and the detectives label him the Jigsaw Killer. What he does is he puts people in awful situations, like a woman with a bear trap on her head, and to get the key, she has to dig into a guy's stomach. But he's not just crazy, he has a reason. It's not a good reason, but it's a reason. Jigsaw has terminal cancer. He wants everybody to feel the value of being alive. And if you won't dig into another guy's stomach for the key to that bear trap on your head, then you don't really value your life. Number six, Mickey and Malroy Knox. Mickey and Malroy Knox are from Natural Born Killers. This movie is so funny. It's a Tarantino movie, again. Just murder, 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 so much murder, and it's really, really funny, too. I mean, I wouldn't watch it with your grandmother to have a laugh, but you can even watch it with your buddies. Mickey and Malroy are two lovers who just go on the road and kill people. They don't really even justify the fact that they murder, they just murder. They enjoy doing it, it makes them happy. They're two of my favorite Tarantino characters ever crafted, which is hard to do because there's so many good characters that he's created over the years. But Mickey and Malroy Knox are just the definition of insanity. They're a new Bonnie and Clyde, but they don't steal or anything, they just enjoy the murder part of it. Number five, Norman Stansfield. Portrayed by Gary Oldman in the movie Leon the Professional. I'm not going to spend too much time on Norman because there's a, another Norman down the list that we're trying to get to. But I could not mention him. He's a drug addicted narcotics officer. Funny, right? All I'm going to say about him is he's so wicked that he called out a hit. Like he put in a hit, an actual like hitman, to kill children. That takes some real psychopathic balls, dude. Number four, Buffalo Bill. Was he a great big fat girl? 
By the way, Sidetrack, that's my answer to any time anybody asks me, do I know who Taylor Swift is? And you can't get mad at that because Taylor Swift is like mad skinny. You might be able to argue that Hannibal Lecter steals the show in this movie as the number one psychopath. But I disagree. Did you see Buffalo Bill? I mean, sure, Hannibal Lecter eats a couple of people. Who doesn't? But Buffalo Bill chops them up and takes off their skin and wears them as a suit. I love this character because he's just creepy. Hannibal Lecter has the knowledge to back up his creepiness. Buffalo Bill just gets under your skin and gives you the shivers. Number three, the Joker. I had to narrow down which Joker. It was on the fence, Jack Nicholson or Heath Ledger. I know, but you have to go with Heath Ledger. It was a better performance all around. Maybe it wasn't necessarily the comics Joker, but did you see the movie? Holy Christ, he was crazy. He killed people for the fun of it. And I know a lot of psychopaths do that, but he really killed people just for the fun of it. He enjoys madness, anarchy, and everything of the sort, so he kills people randomly just to ensue it. Number two, Norman Bates. They'll know and they'll say, why she wouldn't even harm a fly. Norman Bates is a real psychopath. A lot of psychopaths dress themselves up as like innocent people so that they don't get hit by the cops or worse. But he really plays it up. He's the most innocent, pretty looking thing that you've ever seen. The most iconic Alfred Hitchcock movie ever made. And the most iconic horror performance ever done. Okay, who's ready for number one? Number one, Patrick Bateman. How do you look at a movie called American Psycho and think, huh, not that psychotic. Most psychopaths have two layers to them. They have the one layer that they show the world so that you know, nobody gets in trouble or anything. They have the other layer that, you know, chops people up in their basement. Bateman has three. The first two that I just mentioned, and one on top of their choppy choppy layer that thinks to himself, I know what I'm doing is so wrong, and I know I'm an awful human being, but I cannot stop. It's like you watch Sunday Night Football, he kills people. Christian Bale's best performance, I don't care what you say, I tip my hat to you, you beautiful, blood-spattered bastard. If you like this video, subscribe, like, comment, cool. So I got nothing more to say, I'm out.